Merry Christmas, everyone. How are you today? Oh, wow. Our candlelight and service, my second one on podcast, but I hope you enjoy it. I've put together something um, that came to mind and using the 12 powers that we've been exploring all this year and pulling it all together so that we can, with these candles, activate those powers within you so that you can use them throughout the year and remember them or find one that resonates with you when something's challenging is going on in your life think about that candle you lit and the power that you use um so and allow the lighting of this candles during this service it's candle lighting service create new christmas memories for you and a fabulous new adventures in the new year yes COVID has done another turn, but we're going to continue to have faith and continue to put one foot in front of the other and continue to trust that all is well and it will get better. So I thank you for being with me tonight. And let's start with a song. I think I played it last week or the week before called It's More Than a Season because I really want us to remember that this Christmas day is more than a season. It's more than just Christmas. It's more than just anything. It's a life adventure of bringing joy, love, peace, faith, and hope into your life. So listen to this again. Thank you. 
And now let's pray. As we breathe in and take a deep breath and center ourselves, we know that it is Christmas is more than a season. It's about love and peace. It's about giving and sharing. It's about hope and trust. It's about knowing the presence of God that was born this Christmas morn to bring us new beginnings, new hope, new life and expectations. So let's open our hearts this Christmas Eve leading into Christmas morn when we arise with joy in our hearts and a sparkle in our eyes knowing that the Christ light is shining through you and touching the souls of everyone in your family and homes and all around the world. We bless each person for we know this COVID is turn another course and taking another turn. Let's keep our faith and trust and belief in the Spirit of God that we will get through this and continue to move forward and things are getting better and will continue to get better. We just hold on to the faith. Bless our friends and family and stay safe and healthy Bless the doctors and nurses and caregivers as always as the numbers have gone up. We shine the light of Christ's light at all hospitals and homes of those in need and needing healing prayer. We bless you and we honor you and we hold the Christ light for you this day and always. And as we pray, we move from suffering and sadness to joy, to love and to peace. For as we pray, we heal our souls and our minds and our bodies and we give thanks for all that is and for this moment right now. So let us remember the birth of Jesus Let us share the songs of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and the worship of the wise man. Let's close the doors to hate and anger and open our doors to love all over the world. So this Christmas and more than a season and more than just this Christmas, let kindness come. Let it come with every gift and let good desires rise forth with every greeting. Deliver us, God, and lift us by your blessings to a better place, a better world, a more joyful world, a more loving world, a more understanding world. And in this blessing, it teaches us to be merry all the time with our hearts open wide to love. So we say thank you, God, as we awaken on Christmas morn to joy to happiness, to grateful thoughts, to forgiving and forgiven thoughts, and to remember that this is more than a season. It's every day as we walk the path with the presence of God within. We say amen, amen. So as we prepare ourselves for this candle lighting service, I'm going to play another song. It's called Everything I Need. 
and they I want you to listen closely to these songs and brings us into the energy of this candlelighting service of remembering the joy of Christmas. I know that each of you have everything that you need. When you know the Christ presence and you know the power of God within each and every one of us, you know that each day you have everything you need. And so this Christmas, whether there's a gift under the tree or whether you receive anything or not, know that you have everything that you need. So we're going to begin this candle lighting service. I've sent you all a sheet um, to follow along so that you read the affirmation with me when I read it. And we're going to light those 12 um, 
candles tonight. And I know most of you just have one candle. So I'm going to say let's all light our candle right now to begin. So this will be the Christ light to begin this candle lighting service. Took a little while to get it lit, but it's shining brightly. So are we ready to light our candles for the world? This year I found some music to play in the background. I hope it works out the way I want it to. So let's take a breath as we move to the first candle. I light this candle for faith. I bring the gift of faith. Allow faith to open your heart to know that you are worthy of all good things. This is a faith that knows God is the true essence of everything. Know that your faith is unshakable. We know that God is a power at work in every situation. So this is the candle of the gift of faith. And let's affirm together, walking in faith, my steps are sure, divine guidance is clear, and my path is illumined. Candle, second candle. We light this candle for strength. And we say, I bring the gift of strength. God is your refuge and your strength at all times. With God, we know all things are possible. So feel the strength of God pouring through you, energizing and renewing all areas of your life with this gift of strength. Let's affirm together. I grow stronger with every experience of life. I am bolstered by my inner strength. Next candle. I or we light this candle for wisdom. And we say, I bring the gift of divine wisdom. I bring the gift of divine wisdom this Christmas and every day. So apply your inner wisdom to decisions you make, the words you choose, and the ideas and beliefs you hold in your mind. This gift of wisdom comes from your heart and minds and flows freely into God's great world when we use our wisdom. So let's affirm. My inner wisdom guides me to the right decisions, the best steps forward, and the perfect way to bless others with my words and actions. I'm going to light the fourth candle. And if you had the sheet, I should say the color. This is love and it's pink. Since we all don't have the candles in front of us, I wasn't mentioning the colors because we just lit one Christ candle. But if you've ever been to a Unity Candlelight and Service, you know we have all the colors for the powers. 
and this one's pink. So I light this candle for love. I bring the gifts of God's unconditional love. I bring the gifts of God's unconditional love. Each day during this Christmas season and beyond is an opportunity to just love. Look for places and people you can silently bless. Acknowledge God's love in action through you. Infuse your smiles of light and love. Make 2022 a joyous year, no matter what's going on in the outer world. So let's affirm together. I welcome love, joy, success, health, wisdom, abundance, and harmony in my life now. Now we're going to light the candle for power which is purple. I light this candle for power. I bring the gift of divine power. I bring the gift of divine power. The truth of God is our gift to the world this Christmas season. Remember that. The truth of God is our gift to the world this Christmas season. Through the power of the Christ within each and every one of us, we get to bless our world. So use this spiritual gift of power to create your best life. Nothing is stronger than the power and love of God. Think about that. So let's affirm together. The presence and power of spirit now manifest in me and through me. I use my inner power for good in our world. Ah. I light this candle for imagination and it's light blue. You say, I bring the gift of God's creative imagination. I bring the gift of God's creative imagination. This is one of my favorite powers. Let go of limiting thoughts. Focus on a life of spiritual adventure. Imagine gifts, opportunities, and the presence of spirit in every event or circumstance, no matter what's going on out there in the world. Be grateful for your life today. Eagerly anticipate ongoing blessings. Use your imagination. Imagine a world filled with love, peace, prosperity, lots of food, and everyone reaching their full divine potential. Imagine that. So let's affirm together. I create big, bold, and brilliant imaginings. My visions are lofty, and my dreams are awesome. Let's breathe in those first six powers. Faith, strength, wisdom, love, power, and imagination. And the next candle is understanding. I light this candle for understanding. And we say, I bring the gift of understanding. This is what we truly need in our world right now, is understanding. So use this gift to see beyond human appearances like COVID and into the light of truth during this Christmas season and this our journey in life. Recognize these troubled times in our world and bring into these situations understanding 
compassion, and empathy. For the foundation of our world is God. And we give strength to that foundation by our understanding. So acknowledge the good everywhere. As we breathe. And just understand. Beyond appearances. So let's affirm together. With spiritual understanding. I see myself and others with compassion. Next candle is silver. I light this candle for will. I bring the gift of divine will. I bring the gift of divine will. From an elevated spiritual view, make choices that are life affirming and growth oriented. The power of will helps you to stand strong and resilient when feeling challenged, like many of us have been feeling for the last two years, and even more for many others. We know that God is in charge of this world, and we give to the world our willingness to let God's perfect love and will be done. Bring the gift of divine will. So let's affirm, I move forward with confidence as I consciously choose each step on my path. Ah, let's breathe. The next candle is olive green. And this candle is for order. I bring the gift of order. I bring the gift of order. When we bring this gift of order, we call on divine order for balance. Each day, each moment, each breath. Let all confusion and disorder be dissolved when we bring the gift of order. Know that the presence of God is active in the world in an orderly, peaceful, and loving way. Breathe in those words. And let's affirm, there is one presence and one power in my life. All else falls into place. I claim divine order now, right now. Next candle. This candle's for zeal. I bring the gift of zeal. I bring the gift of zeal. This one's orange, my favorite color. It's it as anybody knows me. And I love the energy of it. Zeal is an ever-present energy that you can call on at any time. It ignites your dreams and fuels your life. Enthusiasm and zeal bring a sparkle into the world. The invincible spirit of God uplifts and sustains each of us. Whatever you need, the Spirit of God lifts you up and all is fulfilled. Remember, you have everything you need. So celebrate the joy and enthusiasm of Christmas and every day that bubbles up in you and allow it to burst forth into the world, bringing the everlasting gift of God's good everywhere. Ah, that zeal. So let's affirm together, my zeal shines from me, lighting my way forward and brightening our world. I glow. Look at your candle and see that you are glowing. And the 11th candle is the one for release and is rustic brown. I bring the gift of release. I bring 
the gift of release or renunciation, we say. So in the quiet of your thoughts, ask for guidance on what and how to let go of things in your life that are bugging you down. Clear out, eliminate, and give away what you no longer need. Release any unforgiveness or judgments that tether you to the past. Release doubts and fears. And when you do this, our world is cleansed. When you release, you no longer serve that negative energy and you bring forth the power of release into your indwelling Christ. And the last candle we'll light tonight is the red one. Sorry, I forgot we had to affirm first. Let's do the affirmation for release. In letting go, I create space and energy for the new. In letting go, I create space and energy for the new. Now we go to our last candle, which is red. It reminds me of all those Christmas decorations that are red and colorful. And this candle is for life. I bring the gift of vibrant and healthy life. Oh, we really need this one in our world now. I bring the gift of vibrant and healthy life. John 10.10 10 says, I come that they may have life and have it abundantly. Remember this this Christmas and every day forth. That it was said, I come that you may have life and have it abundantly. Remember, see beyond appearances and what's happening right now. See into your Christ, into your heart. So celebrate life around you and in you. Delight in the wonders of each daily experience. This Christmas Eve and Christmas morn and every day forth. Expect and look for the best in others and in yourself. Become even more aware of the spark the light of the divine reflecting from everyone and you. So let's affirm. I choose to live my life as a live, loving, harmonious, delight-filled experience. I choose to live my life as a loving, harmonious, delight-filled experience. So let's breathe in the energy of these 12 powers. I'm going to read each power to you and think about them. And if one stands out for you, hold it and let it be your light for not just Christmas, but throughout the year. Faith, strength, wisdom, love, power, imagination, understanding, will, order, zeal, release, and life. Ah, thank you for lighting your candles or holding the thought of a candle in your mind. So before we go into our meditation, reading the daily word for Christmas Eve, let's listen to a song by the Evergreen Trio called Angels We Have Heard on High. Yeah. 
your joy a strange prologue What the gladsome tidings be Which inspire your helpless song I hope you've been enjoying all this music. I spent a lot of time today trying to find Christmas music that wasn't copywritten. So the service is a little bit longer, but I wanted to bring more music into our candlelighting service this year. So thank you for bearing with me. So let's take a breath now as we meditate for a few minutes on all that we have heard so far from the angels on high. So breathe in and out as I read the daily word for today. The affirmation is, I follow divine light toward rebirth and renewal. A new birth is on the horizon as I follow faithfully the guiding light of spirit. I anticipate the joyful awakening of renewed sense of oneness with the indwelling Christ presence. I hold the intention today to imagine myself in the Christmas story. What does a journey to Bethlehem mean to me? As we breathe, look inward. I may sit in the silence as I hold this question in my heart. Whether I will enjoy a quiet day alone or a busy day of preparation and activities, I reverently embrace this prelude to the rebirth. I honor myself with the gift of reflection. In the Gospel of Luke, the shepherds took no gifts to Bethlehem other than their humble presence their very being. Likewise, I bring the gift of myself, my open and receptive mind, soul, and body. Luke 2.15 says, The shepherd said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem. So let's breathe 
in and out for a few more moments. Feeling the presence and the love of God this Christmas Eve. As we go to Bethlehem in our minds with our candles lit and our light shining and leading the way. Ah, so thank you everyone for being here on this Christmas Eve. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Day and Boxing Day. And in Bermuda, we got two extra days because of the holiday is on a Saturday and Sunday. And I thank you for being with me throughout this year. Join me next week and we'll do the um, New Year's Eve service. I'll send a note out of what you need to have pre-prepared for that service. But before I close, I told you I was going to use a lot of music. I'm going to play one more song in closing entitled Go Tell It on the Mountain. Because that's what I want you to do about all that you've received tonight from this service. Go Tell It on the Mountain. So go tell it on the mountain, everyone. Namaste. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Joy to the world. Thank you again for being with me. Until next time, blessings to you all. Stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy each day and every moment. Namaste.